So now the movie has completely finished ripping, as you can see right here, Transformers Age of Extinction 3D. So from here, you could put it onto a USB to put it onto your Blu-ray player and play it on your TV. But I'm just going to show you real quick that it is IMAX. As you can see, the black bar is right here. So if you like to collect the Blu-rays, 4K Blu-rays, DVDs, whatnot, you might come across a Blu-ray like this one right here every once in a while. So in my situation, I wanted to see this movie in IMAX. Obviously, I'm a Transformers fan, so you know, gotta have the IMAX sequences and whatever. Me personally, I, I put IMAX above 4K. If I could get the movie in IMAX and I can't have it in 4K, I would take the IMAX above it. So for this movie in particular, the only IMAX release they have of it is on an IMAX 3D Blu-ray. So when I got this, I tried to put it in my Blu-ray player, but it would not play because it's not going to play if you don't have a 3D TV. So I thought to myself, okay, how can I watch this? Because I want to see it in IMAX. So how can I watch this movie without a 3D TV? So I thought, okay, what if I rip a copy of it, play it like that, and then to get it onto my TV, I could put it on a USB stick and find a way to put it onto my TV. And that's exactly what I did. So as you can see right here, got the movie playing in IMAX. You can tell. Looks clean, looks crisp. And then from there, I just put it onto a USB stick. Loaded the USB stick into my Xbox Series X because that's what I use to play my Blu-rays now. I used to have a 4K Blu-ray player, but Xbox Series X, you know, you could play your games. It's like all in one package. So, you know, that's what I use now. Put the USB in there and played it. But if you have a Blu-ray player instead, most Blu-ray players come with a USB port that you'll be able to put it in. On. And I'm pretty sure most TVs nowadays come with a USB port that you'd be able to put it in. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my computer and continue the actual tutorial there because this was just an introduction explaining everything. So what you're going to need, obviously, a computer, you're going to need a disk drive that's going to be able to read Blu-rays. You're going to need a USB that's, I would say, at least 40 to 50 gigabytes because this movie, for example, is 34 gigabytes total. So now I'm going to move on to the computer and I'm going to show you guys everything in detail. So starting off with the first thing that you're going to need besides a computer is going to be the disk drive. So right here I have a disk drive. This is the disk drive that I own. This is the one that I use and this is the one that I highly super recommend to anybody who does not have one already. This disk drive right here is going to connect with a SATA cable. So that might be an inconvenience for people who have never used a SATA cable before or if they're used to using USBs. The problem with a USB Blu-ray player is that those are very expensive. This one's very cheap. And the special thing about this one, besides it being cheap, is that this can actually read 4K Blu-rays if you flash it. And it can also read PS3 and PS4 video games. And if you guys know anything about copy protection and ripping video games, that is super, 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 super rare for a disk drive to be able to do that. So far, there's no, there hasn't been any other disk drive out there that's been discovered that could read PS3 and PS4 games, but this one can. So all these links are, all the following links to everything you're going to see is going to be in the description in order. Now moving on to the program that we're going to need. The program we're going to use is MakeMKV. This is a program that's going to allow us to extract the contents from the disk onto our computer. And then from there, we could put it onto a USB and do as we please with it. So right here, once you get to the page, you just want to push this button right here. It says download make MKV for Windows. And if you have a Mac or Linux, I'm not exactly sure how you would go about this, but it does say that it is available for Windows, Mac, OS X and Linux. But as far as the specifics in detail, I don't know. Uh, I have a Windows, so that's what I'm going to do. So right here now you could just save it to where you want. And before I continue the tutorial, I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about earlier that Transformers Age of Extinction doesn't really have another IMAX release. So right here I'm on the release page for it. So everything, it pretty much has everywhere the movie's been released as far as physical media and, and digital content. So right here we have the 4K Blu-rays. As you can see, there is no IMAX. Right here we have the 3D Blu-ray. This is the one that I showed earlier. 
and this one does have IMAX. Then we go to the standard Blu-ray, and there is no IMAX one releases to be found right here. And we have digital ones, none of them have IMAX, so yeah. So now that we have the setup for Make MKV, you want to double click this, push yes. Please select a language, English or whatever language you speak. Right here, just push next. Now right here, you will have to accept the terms of service. Push next, have both of these checked right here, next. Wherever you want this installed, this is where you would choose to have it installed. Next, and then ins Now it's finished installing. So now right here, I'm gonna push run make MKV. So all this is gonna do is it's going to open the program once I push finish. So the first time you guys open make MKV, it is going to pop up with a pop up asking you for a registration key. So what you want to go do is go to the link in the description. And right here is the registration key. So make MKV is free while it is in beta. So this forum page right here has the registration key and the registration key changes every three months. So you guys will have to come back to this page every once in a while. So just copy this line of text right here, push select all and push control C to copy it or right click and click copy. And then right here, you're going to want to paste that text right here and push OK. And then now you're good to go. So now at this point in time, what you want to do is you want to put your movie into your disk drive, whatever disk drive you have. And then as you could also see right here, I do have an eject button. I'm going to use that. Now we got the disk in. So while that's loading, you can see that it has all of my disk drive information, my model, my make and model, manufacturer, product, serial number. So now once this is finished loading, you could see it did read it. You got the type, Blu-ray, label, Transformers Age of Extinction, protection. I'm not really sure how to read this type of stuff, but I do know when it's talking about protection, it's talking about the layer of protection that the manufacturers put on the disc so that you can't rip a copy of it. This is the same type of protection that they have on video games and things like that. But with this program, we are able to get through that layer of protection. And so what you want to do is just click the big disc drive icon and it's going to load up this. So once that is finished loading, then right here, you're going to get the movie. And if you when you clip, click this little drop down arrow. This is where you have the option to select all the audios, because if you've ever used a Blu-ray before, then you know that you have the option to watch it in different languages and also different languages and subtitles. So right here, you can select the ones that you want and unselect the ones that you don't want. So right here, I'm going to leave the whole thing selected. So now for the output folder, this is where you're going to choose where you want the movie to go. So for that, you would put push set output folder and then choose where you want it to go. So now at this point, we're going to push make MKV and this is what's going to start ripping the movie. So now I'm going to cut this to when this is finished ripping. So now the movie has completely finished ripping. As you can see right here, Transformers Age of Extinction 3D. So from here, you could put it onto a USB to put it onto your Blu-ray player and play it on your TV. But I'm just going to show you real quick that it is IMAX. As you can see, the black bar is right here. And if I skip ahead over here, you can see it's an IMAX. So that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, if I was not clear on anything, leave that question in the comment section. I will also have my social medias in the description as well. If you want to DM me a question and ask me, you know, what do I do with this? What do I do with that? Go right ahead. I do respond to all my comments. So trust me, I won't leave anybody out. Other than that, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new today.